Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Alan Wake 2. These people all look like I feel. Last time we quite devastatingly learned that whether intentionally or not, Alan cannot be trusted and is in fact a physical vessel for Scratch. Which kind of throws all of our... It kind of throws everything into question, doesn't it? And I feel so terrible for Ilmo right now. This is kind of partly on us, considering we're the ones that got him locked up. And I'm kind of starting to wonder if maybe we shouldn't have let him finish the job. I'm sorry about your brother, Ilmo. Yaku was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. <laughs> Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect watery and bright falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. So they all come from within the lake. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was the genius. Torchbearers, so that's the origin Just of that name. The work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101. Fear is a great motivator. Uh, Gustavo Fring would like a word. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger scratches the threat we're facing. Not Wake. And I will stop him. I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. Okay, but Saga, you're really gonna say that to him after what we just went through. I'm so sorry, Yuck. Oh my god, I... You know, I... One thing I didn't really care for about the story of the first game was that it, it did sort of have... In effect, in all just a dream ending where nobody seemed aware of what was happening, nobody believed Alan throughout the events, and it made it all seem so unreal and therefore inconsequential. Here, it's even weirder than before, even crazier, and yet it sort of not only has a more concrete story where people react more realistically to the things that are going on, but also kind of retcons some of the more out there elements and makes them more believable and makes some of these characters' actions more Scratches believable. Double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. So what's the plan? The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I could trust you. That was a mistake. So was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. <sighs> I just need to understand more. <laughs> you got that right. Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? It's not until this conversation that I realize he's not a vessel for Scratch. That just was Scratch impersonating Alan. Oh my god, it was always him, so... Did Alan maybe never actually get out of the dark place? 
The horror story's changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here, even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's... Uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex-wife couldn't take it. Karen, you're better off without her. I know I am. So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have Bureau Intel on all of this. Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here's a key to the cell where we keep the files. Happy reading. Okay. Um, thanks. Go team. Man, people who played that game must be going nuts right about now. Well, here we are. Scratch pretended to be Wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. I had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wake's. I think he was always a monster. Always Scratch. You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... And then, uh... Then Logan... Well, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. It's not a bad question, honestly. And one I've asked myself. Uh, this is the kind of case my ex hated. The ones that might kill me. That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. I love the characters in this game so much. All right, but we have we have the key now. Let's do what needs to be done, and hopefully we'll be able to put to use some of the gear that's been transported here. Uh, so much. A transcript of interview with subject Alan Wake, suspected para-utilitarian. Mr. Wake, you've been taken into FBC custody and will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date. But for now, I need to ask if there's anything you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel. Anything we may need to know? There's a force here you don't understand. A presence. It's after me. It wants to consume me. Consume everything. Yes, you mentioned this dark presence before. Why does it want you? It feeds on artists. On the art they create. It wants me because of my writing. But it can be any form of art, any artistic expression. Music, painting, film, photography. It can feed on any of it. All of it. You have to believe me. We're well aware of this entity, Mr. Wake. We've been tracking the situation here for a long time now. You yourself have been on our radar for over a decade. I'm sure those nuts in the research department are just going to love checking you out. Hey, make a note to redact that before submission. Let's get back on track. You mentioned a light switch earlier. Where is it now? I don't know, but I need it. 
I can't end this without it. Will you help me get it? Mr. Wake, you are in custody, pending charges for breaching numerous federal violation codes. We're not going to give you a suspected paranatural object. You're not expletive listening to me. We are listening just fine. Now, do you have any accomplices? Expletive you. Let me the expletive out of here. It's coming for me. We're all in danger. Interview was terminated due to subject being uncooperative. Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. Hmm. Regarding the Shadow... A summary, through extensive interviews with witnesses of AWE-35, additional re details regarding the Shadow, A-010, have been discovered. Redacted and redacted, both present during the AWE, reported seeing a woman named Barbara Jagger in Bright Falls at the time. Jagger is a former actress and Bright Falls resident who emigrated with the filmmaker Thomas Zane from Finland and was reported to have drowned in Cauldron Lake during redacted AWE in 1970. It's just so cool to put an SCP spin on this where we're seeing both sides of this type of story. In the first game, it felt like something so personal and unique and I guess our own little nightmare to see it explained in such a clinical way i don't know it, it makes the world feel so much bigger while not minimizing the threat itself because we went through it on our own research staff have concluded that jagger's appearance is likely a case of the shadow manifesting in human form research is ongoing as to the nature of the connection between the shadow and the psychophysical signatures available for it to mimic current hypotheses are a the shadow can only manifest as artists or individuals tangentially involved in the creation of art who have operated within a certain range of Cauldron Lake. B. The shadow can manifest as any individual contained within Cauldron Lake. Research is actively ongoing. We are going to have so much to mess with in the profiling in the case board. The lake is a gateway to the dark place. I mean, I thought that was obvious, but sure. Uh, at approximately 1900 hours on September 13th, 2023, it is so weird to be playing something that references such a recent date. Readings from a remote surveillance unit monitoring Cauldron Lake, a known threshold to what researchers theorize is the origin dimension of AO40, the shadow, past acceptable limits. Attempts to contact FBC Research Facility WA03, Codenamed the Lake House were unsuccessful. On site event verification is not possible. Response procedures are initiated with immediate effect. Lead Agent K. Estevez will mobilize Investigation Unit Beta from the remote operations site at Redacted. All available shadow specific equipment has been approved for use in the field. Objectives To confirm an active event. If an active AWE is occurring, the dispatch team will identify its nature and severity limit exposure, and attempt to contain or neutralize the source. If no event is active, check monitoring equipment, perform a limited profile sweep of the area, and check status of the lake house and its staff. Relevant operatives in the area, including the Cult of the Tree, Redacted, and Alan Wake, currently missing. Alex Casey is kind of a wild card in this, isn't he? I mean, he's the one that, by all accounts, shouldn't exist. Some of you have said that he's basically discount uh, Max Payne, and that if they had the rights, he probably just would be Max Payne. Same voice actor, same model. I really do think he's going to end up being, like, the key to all of this. Well, into the palace with us. Oh uh, god, this is going to be a movie at this point where I spend most of my two-hour record session just off to the side, uh, letting cutscenes roll. Less work for me, but, you know. The Dark Presence is vulnerable against bright light. At least that makes sense. Yeah, it makes so much sense, we already knew it. Alright, we've got a lot of work to do here, so let's start from the top. I can tell something is wrong. 
What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared. But there's nothing more we can do for now. Ilmo said the cult kills Taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a Taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Elmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the Taken. We're on the same side. If the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Because they were interrupted. We already knew this. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Scratch was pretending to be awake, manipulating me. What does he want from me? No, I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful, too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick, like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. That's terrifying. He has access to the Anderson power. Uh, Gramps, what do you have to say about this? Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. Well, that's convenient. But what about Wake? Getting him out of the dark place for real is now critical. I assumed Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was. Which is really, really strange, uh, considering his attitude when we played as him briefly. I mean, uh, in the woods, why was he being attacked by the Taken? You got some explaining to do. So, the cold of the tree actually kills Taken. They were on our side, even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. Too many versions of the truth. We have a lot of catching up to do after this thing is all over. Everything is different now. My family. Me? The whole fucking world. I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there. Still cracking jokes. Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item. Maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do.
Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. So when we confronted Alan and said that you told us about this stuff, uh, effectively all you're really doing was delivering information about Alan to Scratch. Hmm. We've got to enter through the lake. I'm going to deal with the situation, Elmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. We'll do my brother proud. Thank you, Elmo. I really adore the way not only the characters are done, but the way the story is told. The way it takes these twists and turns, how we think of different elements in different ways as we progress. Oh, it seems like a crowd is starting to form. Hang on, should we maybe uh, shoo these people off? Anybody seen what our commotion was about? Who knows? If it's not one thing, it's the other. I think they've got the Coscula brothers locked up in there. I saw them go in earlier. Oh dear. Probably got them for what happened to poor Mocha the most. Mm -hmm. about? Who knows? Okay. You guys, you guys have got nothing to offer us here. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? Uh, based on reports, the item is a light switch from a lamp cord with part of the severed cord still attached. Eyewitness accounts suggest that the item possesses the ability to alter reality the changes being based on redacted when used by a capable para utilitarian parsing this item's effect from that of the cauldron lake threshold responsible for recurring awes in the area is difficult because the only reported uses of the item have occurred near this threshold without more data we cannot confirm if the item intensifies the effect of the threshold or vice versa or if there is no connection whatsoever recorded material from dr hartman after becoming a redacted have revealed that Alan Wake eliminated Barbara Jagger, likely a physical manifestation of a redacted, by inserting the light switch into its chest and flicking the switch. The item is confirmed to have been used in 2010 to turn fictional writing into reality, see AWE 35. However, it is unclear what the restrictions and limitations of this effect are. Conclusion The light switch is a possible OOP but the team cannot conclusively classify the item based on second-hand accounts. Proper examination and testing is required in order to determine the classification and precise effect of the item. Alright, now maybe we can finish off the board. The clicker amplifies any changes to reality suggested by a piece of art. Makes them permanent. So that's what actually solidifies it. And now it's in our hands. Only we are not a power utilitarian, and thus we still need Wake. Yo, Grandpa. I love how when it comes to Tor, this is basically a phone. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without wake. Never mind. The writing can change the horror story, but I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. So we may not be the writer, but perhaps we can be the editor. Or at least the publisher. It's empty. There's no one there. Uh, I think you may be right. Might have been a mistake to come here. I don't think Marcy's coming back. Fuck, Riley. This is so messed up. I know. I'm sorry. Hey, 
It's not your fault. We all knew what we were signing up for. Uh. Okay, well, I'd love to come up with a plan, and we certainly need to. But, given the alternating nature of how we're doing this, I think it's time. We helped Alan inch his way out once more. <sighs> I had forgotten this place was flooding like this. All right, Mr. Door, what have you got for me? I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wick. Whatever you say. Is he not an extension of the Dark Presence? Door, Zane, the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. I, okay. Oh, the flooding is reached here as well. Now I don't know what to think of this. I, I had no idea he was anything more than a face to this evil. One of many. We can wade through here. Let's get our light out. This has been a challenging game to edit so that you can actually see it. I couldn't get in. I was missing something. Clearly. the shadows now here as well this place it, it, it takes place in New York but it's always been insulated from what was outside almost like it was designed to offer safety even for as creepy as it is now that protection is no longer offered to us 
And and he said, hello, Ati. Said that somebody was He said that somebody had been roped into it, like somebody relevant to him. So who is that, and who is he really? seem happy to see me this time. Hearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your films, Tom. Like you have put me. <laughs> what films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite. And Uerden Uer. Is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... Uh, the... Uh, the light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. Uh, they are waiting in the shoe box in the basement. What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. In the shoe box in the basement. Uh, wouldn't that be quite flooded? Although, huh, you seem to have done a pretty good job of uh, keeping keeping the floors here dry. Well, let's get down there. This is getting too weird. It's like, uh, this game has a lot of repetition to it. Oh no, this is where we exit the studio. This game has a lot of repetition to it. However, it doesn't feel repetitive because each time you're piecing it together, each time it feels different and there's constantly a sense of discovery to it. But wasn't there... Ah, there's a door right here. And with that, a new staircase comes into being. And now we come here. I would find Alice's photos in a shoebox. Yeah, well, I don't trust this place to let us go unopposed once more. Are you going to disappear for me? Thank you. There must be... There was another way around, wasn't there? Yep, here's where we found the lamp. Now, where is that shoebox? Ah, right here on the table. A bullet of light to push the darkness away. These were Alice's photos. I recognize the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. They were important, even if I didn't know what to do with them yet. Maybe that's the photon torpedo to send down this lake's thermal exhaust port, so to speak? I mean, Alan, if you write that, even regardless of copyright infringement, we could be tackling this with X-Wings instead of revolvers. More of you. Yep, that's what I thought. Die, please. Oh, there's so little ammo for this thing. Alright. Oh, we've got it, but I still don't know what to do with it. Do we just go ahead and leave the studio now? It's 
just a it's just a prop a set door until we change the light. I realize that now. Well, this was how I left the studio the first time. If this thing is still flickering, then maybe. Uh, that was like five minutes. That doesn't feel like that warrants credits. Hang on, no, no, take me forward. I'm lost. I'm lost in the dark, drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. No way out. There's no way out. It's deeper, deeper, deeper. This is hell. I'm in hell. I died. I wish I was dead. I'm dying. I just want to sleep. Please. Let me sleep. I'm so tired. I just want to go home. I've written so much. I write. I write. There's nothing left. It's all gone. I don't know how to write. All the words are gone. There's no more words. Where's he going? Can I get the words? These words you were the worst movie. Oh, God, this is familiar. Oh, is this familiar? I, I've been here before. I, have I said this before? I've read this somewhere. Where am I? Who am I? Alan Wake. Alan Wake? That's a strange name, eh? Wait, that sounds like a character name. I, I, I write that name up. I make that name up. I, I don't want to be a character. I, I don't want to be the story. Just write this out of this story. Ram these words down your throat. Make you choke on these words. Line the words. See the words. You can't take the words. I eat the words. These are my words. Stop using the words. The words. I call to the word. This isn't your story. It never was your story. The story is a monster. The story will eat you alive. The darkness is coming. The darkness inside. This is my story. You're in my story. Get out of my story. You are a character in my story. You can't stop the story. This story will go on forever. There's no escape. You will never escape. You will drown here. You're stuck in a room. You don't have a clue. You lost. You lost the plot. I'll show you. It's moments like these that uh, really hammer in just how horrifying of a situation you've really been in. That, well, that really goes into how long you've been in this situation. And honestly, it's the reason why, for much of this playthrough, I suspected that Alan and Scratch were one and the same. It kind of would have been a natural result of being subjected to this for so long. To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find a murder site. Sane would know where to find one. So maybe we can go visit him in the hotel again? something together. I was going to get the truth out of Zane with whatever means necessary. Now, there's an interesting thought. Could it be that Scratch is maybe a result of his influence? Oh no, this place is becoming packed with these things. And remember, just because we're on the streets between levels does not mean that the ambient bad guys can't also be taken. But it is becoming quite clear they're more dangerous than before. Yep, there you are. Nope, nope. Just keep moving, just keep moving and wait for them to get back to me. I'm dead, okay.
To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find a murder site. Same, but nowhere to find one. Inside this messy maze of blood trails I was chasing the cult through, I ran into the filmmaker, Thomas Zane, an esoteric bohemian with a hard-on for acts of cruelty performed in the name of occult nonsense. A director wants to control every aspect of the world in their films. Is a cult leader any different? Was Zane just another alias for Scratch? There was a rumor that Wake and Zane had been working on something together. I was going to get the truth out of Zane with whatever means necessary. Now, okay, so there's a bunch of units. I think. Come on, come on. Oh, you're still alive. Nope. Nope. You die. I can never tell with you guys. The speedy ones are difficult. See, the problem with third person combat is that when things get close to you, you cannot tell what's going on. You're mostly looking at the back of your own head. Zane, please tell me you have something for me. Shut the door behind us. Uh, I really did not want to come back here today. But here we are. Zane's room, 665, was upstairs. The elevator would take me there. You really want to get on an elevator in a time like this? Show me what you got. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head! Scratch wrote return, not me. You're a fucking liar. You've given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch, he promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. A visionary. Turn and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema. Where my film Nightless Night is playing. I told you not to try anything.
thousands have gone missing beyond the labyrinth of me. When you're lost, you're lost in your own company. And cut! <sighs> oh. Now that is drama. I had a million questions about Zane, but I had more pressing concerns. That's this game in a nutshell, isn't it? I had to find the movie theater Poet Cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. A million questions and more pressing concerns to distract me from them. This, I can't even, I can't even start to speculate on what just happened there. We can't trust anything we see. Not at all. Uh, I think there was a save point over here. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I kind of feel like we maybe need to loot this place for supplies before we go. I mean, there was a lot around. Maybe have a look in the shoebox to see what we left behind at the very least. I'm basically out of shotgun shells. There's not a whole lot in here either, to be honest. You stay out of my way. Oh, you're right there. Okay. Wait, but you're not actually a thing? But you you slapped me down like a thing. Okay, well you're definitely a thing. Nope. No, you get out of my story. Come on. Oh, they're just surrounding me now. It's becoming impossible to move around out here. Come on. Alright, keep moving. Just keep moving, but ah, oh, there's Almost nothing I can do. Okay, get to safe haven. We've got to... We've got to just bound, bound, bound. We have, like, nothing to fight these guys with. I don't even... This place is growing increasingly hostile. And that sort of tells me that we're doing something right. Uh, especially with these so-called masks starting to drop it's starting to feel like a desperation on both sides honestly all this was meant to placate us i still don't know what he meant by that wanted to keep us playing our role he's still asking us to do that yep there you are this way this way this way you Nope, 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 nope! Now I wonder, does that actually hurt you? Answer, hardly matters. And there's another one. You know what, let's just, uh, oh, come on, go, 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 go. 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 We cannot keep doing this. On. Hurry. We are so not equipped for any of this. We are so not equipped. Alright, uh, go on, give me that. Now, let's get into here. Got plenty of batteries, at the very least. So just destroy all this. Come on. This was the moment to destroy it. They're just everywhere. I'm half tempted to just toss a flashbang right into the middle of all this. You. No, you don't. 
Once you're staggered, that's about it for you. Huh, I wonder if all the others aren't tied somehow to the real one that's here. Yeah, we definitely have to double down on the searching if we're gonna get through this. In quite a while since it's given us any batteries. We're good for now, but how long is that gonna last? The door is locked. Cult of the Word. Just how many murders can you get away with in such a small area, so high profile? Answer, I guess they had no intention of getting away with it given the bodies left behind in Scratch's wake. The theater huh. appeared to be closed. Maybe the ticket could still get me in. Scratch's wake would be a good name for a novel. That is so creepy. What is this, the theater? The cinema lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. Clever. Huh, a theater, I suppose. Uh, almost literally and figuratively in this case, acting as a hub to other worlds. All right, uh, what do you combine with? Right there? Ah, but we need to see it from above. I felt like, I felt like I'd been on this case looking for the cult of the word for a lifetime or more. The only case I'd ever been on. They would surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night, leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt a monumental, terrifying revelation trembling before me, ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole. This place had significance to the cult. There was something to use there. The main event was the murder. I had to find my way to it. The first step toward the murder site. I was making progress. bloody pipe with stains, drag marks, and footprints leading behind the concession. Okay, uh, we are going to want to save right over here. some point I can't stop there's too much at stake and with that with the faded memories with everything that's going on well it's entirely possible that you've stopped and started several times over the course of all this but every time you do scratch seems to just take the reins or maybe he can't do it himself, and maybe he needed to work with Zane in order to make this happen. Zane, almost this, like, deified figure in the first game, seems so almost pathetic and antagonistic now. Just feed me all the ammo you can, game. I am in desperate need of it. Any access through here? Uh, old movie theaters are so cool to me architecturally. I was 
missing something. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. So maybe they sealed this off so that they could commit this ritual murder uninterrupted? Hang on, is there anything else we can do with this? Nope, Cult of the Word is all we have. So if we change it back... The scene had changed. Now we can come through. Ah, uh, and there's a map here. Yes, we have to... Uh, the path will be blocked while we're in that investigative mode. So we need to see it as it was before in order to progress along that trail. A staff break room. Maybe if we change it now? ceremony or so we made our new members believe two of new york's finest they had performed endless favors to earn their place among us we had something special waiting for them and something very special for you alex casey who's your leader alan wake hmm? scratch zane give me a name <laughs> You will meet him soon enough. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre, so I'd use it. Was that Elmo? And this wasn't the murder site. He was being tortured for answers by Casey. Well, this just got interesting. Elmo, we know that this stuff happened in the real world. It's been acknowledged in the real world. And yet, Ilmo should have nothing to do with the New York stuff. Well, at least the cult cleans up the clutter. All set up for premiere night, I see. And now the doors to the screens are open. I just heard a really horrifying sound from back there that reminded me way too much of Amnesia the Bunker. It was also pretty creepy coming up here, hearing the sounds. I expected to look down and actually see, like, figures on the stage in the audience and then just nothing in silence as soon as I get through. Come on. I'd done some digging. To film freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema. A rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film. Tom the Poet. Before he went missing. Mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie. Played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film. An early work made in Finland, Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail, just like Wake's books were.
So it seems like they pretty much always use fiction as a cover for their actual murders. The movie, the play at the hotel. repeats endlessly okay well what happens if we if we come up here besides that poster loading in Steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. Nightless night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. That looks and sounds like the profile of Ilmo, but. Would Casey not have said something about that? Remember, this isn't just entirely some fantasy world. Casey acknowledged having worked in New York on these cases. All right, hang on. I want to see if we can. Uh, I want to see if we can change the channel. Ow! I'm sorry. Can you, sir, sir? I can't move. I cannot move. I can't move. Will I be able to move now? No, I'm completely locked out of the controls. Okay, maybe if I put it back... Am I dead? It's a... I, I, guess, I guess I'm dead. I don't know what happened there. Alright, we could take this down. We have to get into the projection booth. But, uh, and yeah, no, that's fair for you to just basically spawn inside my torso. Uh, yep, yep, nope, nope. There you go. Yeah, starting to get real unenthused with fast third-person combat. Die, come on. Come on. Wait, is your... Nope. Go. Now what can we get from in here? Uh, we are going to be engaging a very unhappy audience with this film. There we go. We have shotgun, but I'm going to not use it as much as possible. Okay, so now that we've changed that, perhaps we can get up there. That's still sealed. Nope! <sighs> Everyone just line up and die, please, one at a time. Can I really not? Uh, what if we do clip of the lost film right here? Transfer the light in my lamp to his. 
I see you've incorporated audience participation. The light of the lamp shone out of the screen and revealed the door. Out of the screen and revealed a door. Which door? Oh. Well, I'm not going to try the other screening again. The, night. the seedy alley away from prying eyes was a good scene for dark deeds. But is that really what you want? Yeah, let's get over here and save. It's been a while. I mean, I, I would try. I would try the other film we have available to screen, but last time I did that, I became paralyzed and was beaten to death. Anything else here? Thank you, and thank you, and thank you, and thank you. Now what else have we got? The murder site's gotta be somewhere in there. And that looks like a place we can go, but maybe shouldn't want to. Like, really? Yeah, that sounds like a bad place. Oh, we're just stuck out here in Arkham Knight. Look, there's even the sign for Wayne Tower. Alright, let's see what happens if we mess with this. And maybe learn a little more about your interrogation while we're at it. Uh, where's, where's the dark part of this? You don't think they're gonna want us to... Cut off a finger or something for this initiation, do you? Nah, I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. Thornton and Mulligan? We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep. Yeah. Like we died and went to heaven. It was used as a cult disposal site. Someone had fallen to their death from the rooftop. So then, oh, am I going to have to get up there in order to see? what that wants to tell us. Let's try the Lost Film. Maybe dumping the bodies down here beside the theater was part of the ritual? But I see. In the city trapped in eternal night, they watch the film where the night never arrives, where the night hides in your mind. Very poetic. But how does it help me? Ah, oh, there's a whole, whole bunch of stuff right here. I will help myself to that. Oh, well, tell you what, we can... We can take the light from this thing. This felt correct. Alright, there we are. So we need to... Take that, oh, finally, yeah, close. and we can do it from here, through the window, and there. And if we change the scene from the roof, then we'll be able to see the echo. Nothing there. Something here. Straight to the top. The dirty cops looked down at the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. Well, given what we saw happen to the cultists at the hotel, I imagine they didn't end up feeling the same. Well, this looks like an enemy encounter. Perhaps we can circumvent it somewhat. Mm. 
Well, that looks like an objective if I ever saw one. Hmm, color me shocked. Give me more painkillers and more flares. Give me all the delicious stuff. Wow. Wow, it's gearing me up. Uh, okay, take another one of those. Take more of these. Just everything you can fit, I guess. And down there is a word of power. I haven't seen one of you in a while. Uh, only problem, you won't actually let us get down there. There we are. And you know what? I am going to do this so that we will never be wanting for stuff again. Both very, very good upgrades. Through here. Those never stop creeping me out. Those still silent depictions. But if we come down here, we should be able to see where someone fell from, right? Yep. It gives us the option to change the plot board and therefore give us access to the echo. So we need... Which was it? The scene changed with the story. Changed, but was it not you? There we are. Don't you fucking move, or I'll blow you away. You got me, Mr. Casey. I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that bird a question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why'd he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I find the murder site? One can hope. Will this maybe give us a quicker way down? Preferably not his way. Now the alley is left in total darkness. Alright, so I guess we're heading back then. But we can save from right here. I love how Alan actually shields his eyes when we go in from the dark. All right, well, there's definitely going to be an enemy encounter on the way back. So, yep, yeah, I hear you. I hear you, but maybe if we're careful, we can avoid you and make our way through? I really don't think so, to be honest. You will fade. You will fade. You will fade. We'll fade. There's one here. There's one here. Yep. Nope. I love it when you're inside my body and it makes it impossible to do anything about you. Okay, run. Where am I going? This was not the right way. Nope. Tell you what. How about we... Come on. How about we... Nope. How about... We shotgun you. Right, and then shotgun you, since you've seen fit to just wait! Flare you! you still got a shell left. I, if you can tell what's going on, let me know, because I sure can't. Die, which I guess means the last one was a hit. There's a very good reason why third-person games do not work in such situations. Come 
Well, we did pretty well considering. I hope that's all there is. I don't hear anything else. And we can move forward. I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. I was making progress. Oh, great. You're going to be coming out of there now. So that's cool. How about, uh, how about we just go for one of these? How about that? Or you could just do that. I don't know. I mean, whatever. Sure, sure. Just kill me. Yeah, let's wait for all of you to come on out. And flash out. Sure, I guess that doesn't count. Now, shotgun. You are exposed, so boom, and yep. Uh, only this time you have that attack that literally exploits the fact that uh, things don't work in third person. All right, can we switch this to the Grandmaster? I don't know if you guys will stay. I'm, I'm getting the bug again where I can't move. What if I just switch right here? Like, I don't even wait for you to come out, I just do it. I don't know what'll still be accessible. There we go. And you'll still show up, but maybe if I check the map, I can just leave. Uh, prop storage back there, back lot, scene out in the night. I don't know where I'm going. Nope, go, 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 go. Safe haven, safe haven, safe haven, safe haven. All right, what are we doing about this? I'm assuming you guys are going to respawn infinitely. I have to assume that. Oh, or we can just dive right down. Or it's just like a scratch trap, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe we can... Yep, that door is open now. That's what I was hoping for. Nice acrobatics. I have a gun. The shadow moved too fast to see. Where did it go? Cool. Let's just uh, close this behind us. If you would, Mr. Wake, thank you. Oh, they can open doors, cool. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, well, we will not be looting any of this stuff, but how convenient, we're back in the theater. But it matters not now. Did that box just take that hit for you? I don't know whether to be annoyed or impressed. You there, yep. Always trying to hide. All right, if we, if we can make our way into the projection room, then we've got what we need. Uh, and presumably the Grandmaster is how we get there. All will be revealed and we've got no choice but to look. Let's get out there. Oh, there's gonna be so many enemies in here. Took a lot of punishment for a non-enemy. The door. The one that appears in all places. The one that's in our apartment in the dark place. The one that's in the nursing home. I found myself in a maze of film equipment. 
There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. I wasn't alone. You know, I do find something exceptionally creepy about hearing about the Grand Master. I'm here, you son of a bitch! Show yourself! The Grand Master, my ass! You're a clown in a mask! And seeing just how small it appeared on the screen, somehow... Somehow the size and scale is what made it so much worse. So there is some color here, only red. But we can't mess with it. I was back where I started. A loop within a loop. I had to keep going. I'm here, you son of a bitch! Show yourself! Who, who was that? Who said that? The Grand Master, my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. What is this back and forth? The Casey in the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. That door wasn't there before. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. I'm here, you son Hello? of a bitch. Hey! Show yourself! Who, who was that? Let's who go. said that? That's a real clever saw trick, someone. asshole! You can run, but you can't hide! The Grand Master, my ass! Nothing here this time. So he tried writing return first. Actually tried many times. Right, so where's this door? I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way I'm to the murder site. Son of a bitch. Show yourself. Shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'll get you. I'll get you. Who's there? <laughs> Look, you got the wrong guy. I, I'm not Alex Casey. I only play him in the movies. He's just a fictional character. What, what, what's going on here? Sam Lake? You don't have to kill me. You don't have to go get that knife and stab me. You can just give up and go back. Forget about the ritual sacrifice to open the way forward. The ritual sacrifice to open the way? No. <laughs> don't do it. You don't have to become a monster. This game is actually going to gonna have me kill Sam Lake. In the back and go. A knife in the back? Everything about this was absurd. Our dialogue forced and ridiculous. In desperate need of another pass. But I'd play along to see where it took me. Let's forget. Oh no! Oh no, you don't! You'll be sorry! No other option? None? What the fuck? <laughs> and for a moment, I thought you were gonna make this comically easy. Alright, Sam Lake boss fight. Cool. I mean, we knew he had to do it eventually. He's wanted to since Max Payne.
This was the carnival. We always see images of other overlap locations. Meaning that especially the early ones are hints at things to come later. any sense is in your psychotic brain as a fictional character in a story you've fulfilled your purpose you brought the writer of the story here you can go now casey no, no, no i'm not going anywhere before i get some answers how was i in that movie how, why does all this feel so familiar what who the fuck are you who the fuck am i no Welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here is an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as a detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions are getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. I mean, someone trapped in the dark place writing about us is how we ended up here in the first game, isn't it? Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? It's all in color now. The murder site. Oh! The mask was the key. There's that moose mask again. Uh, maybe they really should have been locked up for what they did to the moose. It's really weird seeing these almost like seven style killings and knowing that the moose skull that he wears upon his head died of a caffeine overdose. I was traveling deeper into the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps, like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy. A curse looming over me. A pale balloon in the sky float and sink deeper. Night springs when bright falls for the sleeper. The surface disturbed the reflection now a traitor. And the cavity of the skull turned to a crater. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. All of this, all of this hasn't been me escaping, I think. It's just me playing my role, whether I know it or not. <laughs> it's Thornton and Mulligan. This is how I could help her. Saga Anderson, listen. I, I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? You can play Scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Is we have family in the horror story? I 
was closer now, closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. But I suppose that'll have to wait until next time. I thought that things were finally starting to come together, and I suppose they still are. We are learning. We are learning all we need to know, but I feel like now I'm more confused than ever. I mean, Mr. Door, not who we thought he was. The whole nature of the Dark Place, not really what I thought it was. Thomas Zane, and I'm just not sure how it all connects. But all I can say is we'll try more next time. The environments continue to be gorgeous, interesting, and creepy. And I really like the idea of using the case board to tell a story visually where most games would just do them probably with notes. She came away saying that everything that was said about the clicker was true, even if we can't trust Scratch. Maybe we have to trust Ellen in the end there, that whatever we're doing, it's working, and we don't have to understand it because if we just keep pushing forward, we will by the end. But I think we've still got a few more parts of this. Good god, this game is starting to run long. But if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.